Hello there lovelies, Ashley Michelle here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where you can find beginner beauty tutorials and reviews and today we have a detailed wig review. I'm going to be reviewing the Outre Melted Hairline Wig McKenna and you guys I just had to pick this wig up simply because my best friend name is McKenna and I really was just looking for the perfect short curly bob wig that I can literally just throw on and get out the house so I decided to review the Outre Meltzer hairline wig McKenna I picked her up in the color maple brown which is perfect for the fall season coming up right around the corner she is a beautiful number two brown color and she does have some blonde highlights she does have a deep wave curl pattern or a really tight spiral curl pattern and let's get into the construction you guys so she is a lace front unit you guys I really do love the lace on these Ultra melted hairline wigs it's super duper soft and transparent they're very easy to work with Miss McKenna comes with two combs in the front you guys right by the temples and she also does have a comb in the nape section along with adjustable straps and I cannot forget about the handy dandy elastic band you guys that is another thing that I just love about the Ultra Melted Hairline series is the elastic band so if you do not want to apply any adhesive or glue or spray or anything to hold down your wig you can literally just apply it with the elastic band and the wig will not go anywhere and here you all can see the blonde streaks that they added to the bottom of the wig I thought this idea was perfect for people that want to try color but just want to take baby steps So now it is time for the fun part. I'm walking you guys step by step in how I'm actually going to customize and apply this wig today. So as you all can see, I have my wig on my wig head and I actually have a white washcloth underneath the lace. This is actually a famous tip and trick from Master Tay himself, Arrogant Tay. This washcloth is going to help you to really see that hairline. Now I'm first just going to pluck out a little bit in the front on one side and then work my way to the other side of the unit again you guys can skip this plucking step altogether because Ultra does do a good job pre plucking but if you just want a little bit more customization to your hairline I would suggest going in with some tweezers and plucking the hairline some so I am going to be using the pluck and skip method so basically I'm going to pluck a few hairs in one section and then skip a section and pluck a few more hairs. This is in real time you guys so this is exactly how I'm doing it in real time. I'm taking my time because you don't want to bald your lace front wig at all because you can't put it back. Once you pluck it, it is gone. So as you all can see I'm just doing a little bit at a time and I'm simply parting a section of hair and then going in plucking, skipping, plucking and skipping. Here is all the hair that I plucked out from one side and I'm moving on to the middle section and I'm simply repeating the same steps across the entire hairline of this unit, just parting out a little bit of hair at a time and plucking and skipping, plucking and skipping.
Now it is a time to apply the wig. So I'm going to be using my Even Edge 24 Hour Edge Tamer to smooth back my edges. And you guys, if you want to know all the details on my cornrows, I will link that down below in the description box as well as a link to the wig as well in the description box. And I'm just using my edge brush to smooth back my edges. And then I'm going to apply my wig cap. And today I'm using a wig cap that is about one shade lighter than me. I really wanted something that was going to mimic scalp because my scalp is just a tad bit lighter than my actual skin and face complexion. I'm doing this so that way I don't really have to add any concealer on my part once we have the wig applied. Today I have a surprise for you guys. I'm using the Erica J Hold Me Down Adhesive System to lay down my wig today. I did pick up the Hold Me Down Adhesive in the original formula and I also did pick up the Erica J Adhesive Remover as well as her Hold Me Down Adhesive Skin Guard. Now you can simply use Got To Be Free Spray or Gel or the Olive Oil Hairspray to lay down your wigs. But you guys, I've just been really wanting to try these products. So I said, why not go for it with one of my synthetic wigs before I jump it up a level to a unprocessed virgin hair wig. So the first thing that I'm doing is taking 70% alcohol on a cotton pad and I'm simply just going to go in front of my hairline to clean off any excess as dirt and oils that might be left behind so that way we can have a flawless application. Next, I'm going to apply the Erica J Hold Me Down Adhesive Skin Guard. And you do want to make sure that you hold the bottle about a couple of inches away from your face. I did kind of smell a little bit of alcohol in this product, so just be careful. As you all are going to see, I kind of got it in my eye a little bit, so just be careful when you are applying this product. And last but not least, I'm going to be using the Even New York Tinted Lace Aerosol Spray in the shade Medium Brown to actually tint my lace today. Now you guys already know I am faithful to my Maybelline New York Foundation and Spicy Brown, but I said, you know what, let me try something new. And you guys, this spray was phenomenal. It was definitely half the mess and half the time. I would definitely suggest you picking up this product for your synthetic wigs. I would have to test it out for an unprocessed wig, but I loved how it came out on this unit. Now it's time to actually get this bad boy on. So I'm making sure that I have that elastic band behind the nape of my neck so that way this wig can be secured in place. And I'm actually going to shift the wig from the side to the middle just to see how the middle part looks versus the side part. And you guys, I prefer the side part versus the middle part. I noticed that they did put a lot of hair in the top section of this wig. So it's just a little bit lopsided once you do shift the wig to the middle you can wear it in the middle but you would have to thin out that one side of the wig Here I'm just sectioning off the wig you guys so that way I can prepare to glue everything down. I did section my lace front into three sections so here I'm just taking some scissors and making two slits in the lace so that way it is easier to work with. This is just my method you guys. It kind of helps me out to maneuver the lace. Now I'm going to be doing one section at a time so I'm just using a couple of drops of the Erica J Hold Me Down Adhesive. And I'm going to be using the bottom of my rat tail comb to smooth everything out. 
Now you guys, this is definitely the trickiest part of the whole entire wig lay down process. Um, for me personally, I just have a larger forehead and my hairline comes out pretty far. So I do kind of have to recreate my forehead, if you know what I mean. So you guys are gonna see that I'm actually gonna be placing the wig further than what my hairline actually is. So that's pretty much the goal. You wanna kinda create an illusion with the wig. You also want to make sure that your glue dries completely clear before applying your next layer. And this glue does dry pretty quickly. I really didn't even have to use my blow dryer that much in between each layer because it does dry pretty fast. For each section I did do two layers of glue and once the second layer was completely clear I took the lace front and placed it in front of the glue so that way no glue would seep forward and get all messy on the lace and I'm just using my comb to press the lace into my skin so that way it can better reinforce that melting process. And you all, I just basically repeated these steps on the sides of the wig to finish laying down my lace. So now let's just get back to the wig review on Miss McKenna from the Ultra Melta Hairline Collection. Now you guys, I'm not going to lie to you all, I definitely had to give her a 7 out of 10. And the reason why I'm giving Miss McKenna a 7 out of 10 is because once I started running my fingers through this wig and using my wide tooth comb in this wig, I did notice that she did start to poof up and frizz out a little bit more now I did go in with some mousse after I finished recording and taking pictures but I still noticed that that frizziness and that poofiness was not going away at all so definitely let me know in the comments you guys some things that you guys do to help tame frizziness and poofiness with curly synthetic wigs but that's one reason you guys why you guys rarely see me review that many curly fro synthetic wigs just because once you start messing with them they pretty much become a tangled situation so um that's pretty much the major con that i have with this wig other than that i definitely was pleased with the color i really did love the color like i said this was definitely a perfect fall color for this upcoming fall season i really did love the lace and that hairline baby do you see that hairline okay like y'all the hairline was phenomenal i love the parting that they did on this unit as well and i love the construction you guys know i just cannot get enough of that elastic band and um other than that like i said she does tangle she does shed she does frizz so those things right there is what's giving her a seven out of ten in my book but definitely let me know you guys um what you guys do for that frizz because yeah if you can get that under control she's a 10 all day 10 but yes you guys um i'm simply just using a small razor comb right here to cut off the lace and you do want to make sure that you get as close to the hairline as possible in here i'm just going back in and cutting those extra pieces of lace off those sideburns now i did have to go back with some extra glue to reinforce my sideburns to make sure that they stay laid down Are the final results of the lovely Otre Melted Hairline Wig McKenna. And as you all can see, I'm feeling her and she feeling me too. But you guys, I really do hope that you all enjoyed this video and learned something new. Do not forget to drop me a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. And most importantly, share this video with your fellow baddies so that way we all can look fabulous together. And I will see you all in the next video.